We all want to access the most creative part of ourselves and have the energy to successfully go through the day. We all want that flow that makes everything work for our best interest. We all want to wake up and feel excited about the day, but how can we make it happen? Science says that there's one thing each of us can do in the morning to supercharge ourselves, and that is a cold shower. As simple as it sounds, turning down the heat in your shower, especially in the morning, can provide you with a wide range of amazing benefits. As the cold water comes in contact with your body, the first thing you'll experience is a shock. This initial reaction will result in quickened breathing, which is a natural reaction. Your goal now is to provide your heart with enough oxygen so that it can pump your blood at a faster pace, because cold water constricts your blood vessels and your blood pressure increases. At the same time, as you're getting in more oxygen, your brain receives more of it as well. This is in part a result of you taking in more air, but it is also due to the fact that your body redirects blood flow away from the outer blood vessels towards deeper ones. This is how it minimizes the loss of heat and it protects your organs. Another reaction that you have when you take a cold shower is that the receptors in your derma collaborate on better terms with the peripheral nerve endings to send electrical impulses to the brain. Scientific research shows that turning down the heat in your shower stimulates those areas of the brain where mood is regulated. This results in levels of neurotransmitters and stress hormones, such as noradrenaline, to go up. While your heart pumps more because more blood flows to it and to other internal organs, the lymphatic system finds it easier to remove metabolic waste products and deliver the necessary nutrients. You can take full advantage of the alertness and invigoration that a cold shower gives you and become more physically active. Cold water has a strengthening effect on your immune system. Your body will work more to produce white blood cells because the metabolic rate is increased, which helps you stay warm. Moreover, uric acid and glutathione antioxidant levels go up. All these physiological reactions to cold showers create a burst of energy and remove any signs of fatigue. Your mood changes and you feel more empowered. In fact, cold showers create better outcomes than prescription antidepressants. You feel a strong sense of alertness, which helps you jumpstart the day. This complex blend of positive mental and physical effects of a cold shower makes you become more creative and motivated to take full advantage of this new day. You'll find it easier to deal with any adversities around you, as your focus will shift on the things that really matter to you. So. Are you ready to take a cold shower? If you're new at this, you can gradually start implementing this routine. Water doesn't have to be cold for the entire duration of the shower. In fact, research shows that even small bursts of cold water can help you start feeling the positive effects. You can alternate warm with cold for brief periods of time, anywhere from 30 seconds to 2 minutes. Another practical approach to this cold water therapy is to just take a short 5 to 10 minute cold shower. Medical journals recommend that you set your water's temperature to 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 12 degrees Celsius. In time, as you become used to it, you can even lower it. We each perceive how cold water is in our own way, so always remember to find your comfortable degree level. Humans have used cold water therapy for centuries as a way to invigorate and enhance the overall well-being. More and more scientific studies turn the scales to favor cold showers, thanks to their beneficial effects on mental and physical health. ...themselves or, or maybe just take an adventure. Uh, so uh, everyone's always so interested in the story. Which, you know, it's kind of hard to understand. Uh, our dog sight's <laughs> coming up behind us here. Seven surprising benefits of taking cold showers in the AM. Most of us believe that the best thing we can do is to take a hot shower in the morning. But that's not actually the best thing you can do. What you want is to take a cold shower. The cold shower brings in front way more benefits and results than you would imagine. And the return on investment can be huge. It speeds up your metabolism. A cold shower has many benefits. One of them being the fact that you get to have a faster metabolism. You get to wake up a lot faster. You lower the body temperature, which means that you need to burn more calories this way. Improving the immune system. Not all of us have a powerful immune system. That's why the best thing we can do most of the time is to opt for a cold shower. This will help boost the immune system power and raise it to new levels. Better blood circulation. 
These cold showers are great because they boost the heart rate and the muscles are contracted this way as well. Since you get to have a better circulation, you get to stay healthy and your body will find it easier to fend attackers when that's necessary. Shinier hair. Cold water helps your hair look better. At the same time, you can prevent situations like falling hair for example. It's really important to keep your hair healthy. And with an approach like this, results can be really special. Skin health. Cold water helps you make your skin firm and tense. As a result, you eliminate wrinkles and saggy skin problems. You can also use cold water as the means to eliminate dead cells and prevent things like cellulite or stress. Yes, it really is a handy thing to have, and it pays off immensely as you go along. Eliminating liquids. As you do a cold shower, your blood vessels activate lymphatic drainage. This is really good, and it has a positive impact on eliminating liquids. If you have joint inflammation or swelling, this can be an amazing option. Regulating the body temperature. Since you boost up your metabolism, the natural functions allow you to balance your body's temperature. This is great and healthy. As you can see, cold showers are really good for your body and you should consider giving them a try. The mere fact that you get to improve your health naturally can be well worth the effort. I'm telling you, you can never, you can never get used to this. It's just not possible. Anyone who says they got used to it 100%, they're lying. Okay. Energized part, believe it. It's like adrenaline going through in incredible amounts. Just like right now, I'm feeling very, very energized. Like, again, like I have many cups of coffee. You feel energized as fuck. And by that, I mean like, like beast mode. Like Hulk, whatever you call that creature, is going to come out of you and you better watch out. Get excited. You're like, oh my god, this cold showers. I'll take this. Fine. My skin is looking amazing. It really is. One of the things I noticed was definitely the skin. My skin all over it feels great. Uh, face, arms, everything looks amazing. There was an evolution in the hair. So after complaining about my hair looking dry and unhealthy, hair looks super dry. Oh my god, I thought it was going to do marvelous things to my hair. That is finally changing. My hair is looking better, healthier, shinier. It's looking pretty good. Even my husband was like, Oh my god, he looks shiny. Looks like you have healthy, normal hair for the very first time. And I was like, oh my god, that is freaking true. It looks like, like I actually stylized it, but truth is, I barely brushed it. The volume is beautiful. This shine, it looks so strong. I would say one of the biggest benefits of taking a cold shower was that I was significantly less sweaty than I normally am. Oh my god, y'all, typically by this point, I would have slowly started to sweat through my entire shirt. Um, even in an air-conditioned subway, but no sweat, no sweat marks on the shirt. I think I can vibe with the cold shower. I think I get it now. Day 30. I never thought I would have made it this far with this much acceptance. I've seen so many health benefits from this. I'm not sweaty, my skin's better, my hair is better, uh, my mood is better. That's something I really loved about the cold showers. It's just the willpower and the commitment it took. Did I enjoy it, like genuinely enjoyed it? No, absolutely not. I think this is something I'm gonna adopt. She's a man, yeah, man, yeah, I go, no, no, here it comes, Woo! Oh my god, this was not cute at all, fuck. Oh, shit. ourselves in an ocean. ourselves in an ocean.
cold showers have the power to transform our experience of cold and our experience of life. Today, in this video, I'll share with you some of the benefits of cold showers and how to get started taking cold showers in your life. We live in a culture that celebrates comfort. But in a way, if you think about where comfort leads, eventually it's to a deadening of feeling. On the opposite side of comfort lies vibrancy. And this is the most important thing that you will get from your cold showers. My wife, Rebecca, and I, we start our morning with a cold shower. Every time we do that, we are filled with a vibrancy for life that just sets the tone for our whole day. And it's amazing how well a day seems to go when you start it with a cold shower. Another wonderful part of taking cold showers which ties in with that feeling of vibrancy, is that it effectively acts as an antidepressant. If you decide to start trying cold showers in your life, I'd urge you at some point, when you're feeling a little bit down or just sort of not right about the world, get into a cold shower, spend two minutes in there, come out, and I bet you're going to feel like the world looks much brighter. The basics are simple. I turn the water on to cold and I wait for it to get cold. I'm turning the water just to the point where I have water pressure, and then I jump in, and I get the front of my body, I get the back of my body. If you want more intensity, you can do your face, you can do your hair. I recommend trying to stay in for at least 60 seconds. Of course, you can do longer if you want. The real question is commitment. How do you get yourself to do this without coming up with excuses, of which there are a lot of good excuses not to do this? What I did was I made a vow, and I made this vow in front of a whole bunch of people, and I said, I'm gonna try a cold shower for a whole week. And I did it for a whole week, and then I said I'm going to try it for another week, and I kind of just kept going. Another thing that I feel like helped me out was to choose the same time every single day to do this. I chose the morning uh, before anything else happened in the whole day. That way there wasn't anything that could get me started down the road of, I'm accidentally forgetting to take my cold shower. I recommend trying it in the morning and see how it works. So, I want to be honest. When you first try this, it is intense. Yes, every time I do feel exhilarated, but I don't feel scared, and it's not intense in the same way anymore. If I say one thing, it's that the cold you imagine in your head is much worse than the cold you actually feel. And give it a try. It has the potential to change a lot in your life. All right, here goes. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like to point out the lack of steam. It's actually cold water. You ready? When you start your morning with a cold shower, it just gives you a different attitude about life. And when you come up against tough things in your day, you can harken back to, yeah, I started my day with a cold shower, and it really changes your basic underlying foundation. I really urge you to give cold showers a try. Sure, being warm is nice, but did you know cold is good for you? That it can help you lose fat and build muscle? It can help you think better and faster? It can help heal almost any illness and then helps you live longer? Cold therapy can boost metabolism up to 500%. It burns calories and fat, clears blood glucose levels, helps build muscle, enhances exercise recovery, rebalances hormones, and helps cells live longer. The longest living people live in places where it gets cold, whereas people living in the tropics usually don't live as long. Parasites, bacteria, and viruses love warmth. That's why so many people get terribly sick when on vacation in warm tropics. And that's why hospitals and doctor's offices are so cold. The main reason people get sick in the winter, it's not because of the cold, it's because they eat processed, unnatural, warm comfort food and don't move their bodies very much. Car engines have more horsepower when it's cold, and electricity moves faster and better in cold. Supercomputers must be in refrigerated rooms. The colder it is, the faster information moves because there's less resistance in matter. Your body's electrical and nervous system works better, faster, and much more efficiently. My office where I work is cold. The air conditioning is always on, even in the winter. I'm like a supercomputer when I work. The cold helps me focus and be more alert. The most advanced, powerful cultures and richest cities in the world with the most technological advancements are all in the colder northern latitudes. New York, Tokyo, Berlin, Moscow, London, none in the tropics. Sleep is much better when it's cold. Each time the pain will be less and less until finally you're so numb you don't even feel the cold anymore. In fact, you'll feel amazing. It's great for lazy people, wheelchair people, paralyzed people, and sick people. In areas where it's snowy, it's common for people to jump back and forth between a hot tub and snow. 
Cold burns stubborn fat. The most stubborn fat is brown cells, which you can kill with cold. Dr. Schultz and Christopher are famous for putting people in bathtubs filled with ice cubes to help heal incurable diseases. As professional athletes take ice baths all the time to heal injuries, recover faster, and help their muscles grow faster. In other countries, especially Northern Europe, ice baths are actually quite common in the natural healing world. And for people trying to lose stubborn fat, the colder it is, the more fat you lose. And despite what some people say, yes, Yes, you can spot reduce fat in specific body areas by strapping cold packs to your abs or butt. It's called cold thermogenesis, which causes blood glucose to be burned off as fuel before it can turn into fat. Adiponectin is a hormone released by cold that breaks down fat and sends glucose into muscles, increasing the number of skeletal muscle mitochondria, meaning it helps your muscles grow and heal faster. Athletes have known this forever. Many raw fooders complain they're always cold. Good, that means they're healthier. Most people are in the permanent state of inflammation where their bodies are chronically trying to burn off some kind of low-level infection. They're so used to it, they think being warm or hot is normal. Actually, cold is more normal. Lab studies have shown that animals with a lower body core temperature can live much longer, up to two times longer. Always staying in a comfort zone is what got you sick, bored, and unhappy in the first place. Now you'll notice how the cold doesn't even affect you anymore. You're starting to become superhuman. You feel refreshed, clean, calm, focused, and alive like never before. And that's my job to wake you up and show you what real living is really like. I want to talk about uh, cold shower therapy today. Uh, in the East, this is called Ishnan. My teacher, Yogi Bhajan, showed this to us as a way of uh, starting our day, getting up before uh, the sun rises, and to prepare ourselves to meditate and do yoga. So uh, what I do when I, I uh, take the cold shower is I, I get in my shower and I turn on the cold water full blast. I allow the cold water to hit my skin and as the cold water comes down I'm doing breath of fire and I showed you how to do breath of fire in my last video but I'm rubbing my skin, I'm massaging my skin where the cold water hits and I hold it under the cold water until it feels warm this is the secret, it'll feel warm. What happens is that blood rushes from the interior of the body to meet the skin and it actually starts to feel warm. It's totally amazing. And what it will do for you, if you practice this regularly, it will strengthen your immune system. It will rejuvenate your glandular system and make you feel young. It improves your blood circulation and flushes out toxins and you end up being uh, almost immune to cold. You're very resistant to the cold. It strengthens your nervous system. It increases fertility in men. How about that, huh? It builds courage. How about that? And it's a natural antidepressant. You go through the day feeling uh, a natural high. It's wonderful. This is the most fantastic little therapy. And no one knows about it. It's called cold showers. Everyone thinks it's terrible. In our Western world, everyone has hot water and everyone uses hot water. And, every, and people have forgotten how to use cold water therapy.